skew probability distribution, and prob a probability distribution is the probability of every possible value of the random value. And one thing that's uh, for a probability distribution to be valid, all of the probabilities have to add, for every value have to add up to one. That would uh, indicate probability. So let's see what we have here. The table shows the probability distribution of adults who play golf by age range. First, it says show the distribution is valid. And so what we want to do is we're going to add up all of these probabilities right here and determine does that equal one? Well, let's see, 0 0.13, 0 0.18, 0.21, and Shazam, it does equal one. And so, yes, it is valid. Now, the second question, what is the probability that an adult golfer is 35 years old or older? Well, in our age range here, we've got 35 to 44, 45, 54, 55, 64, 65 plus. So if you're going to be 35 or older, it's going to be all those values right there. 0.21 down to what is 65 plus of 0.17. Now I could do that two ways. I could add all those up or I could take one and subtract 0.13 and 0.18, but I'm just going to add all these up. So we got 0.21 plus 0.19 plus 0.12 plus 0.17, and that equals 0.69 or 69%. So 69% of all the golfers are 35 years old or older, right? and doesn't go below 18. I guess you, you don't play golf unless you're under 18, unless you're over 18, apparently, according to this probability distribution. Now, the next step is to make a probability graph of the data. And I'm going to do that in a spreadsheet. We've looked at histograms uh, in the past, and um, but let's just do a little something different. Let's use a spreadsheet this time. What do you say? All right, I hope you're able to see this, but I'm going to enter this data in the spreadsheet that was in that table. And in, and in column A, I'm going to put all the age ranges that we have, 18 to 24, and 25 to 34, 35 to 44, 45 to 54, uh, 55 to 64 and 65 plus and then in column B I'm gonna put those probabilities so I got uh, 0 0.13 0 0.18 0 0.19 0.12 and 0.17. Let's see, that all is correct. Now I'm going to highlight these two columns and then I'm going up here to the chart. I'm going to hit insert and I want to see a chart. I'm going to click on recommended charts and it gives me a cluster column. And so I'm going to just choose that and let's see what happens. And Shazam, there, I have graphed the data using a spreadsheet. That didn't even take very long, did it? Pretty slick. All right, 
And there we go. Calculators and spreadsheets. You need to learn how to use Excel.